to our milestone 3 report presentation so on this milestone we will do a accumulator based vending machine so the uh, objective of this milestone are to creation of high level reusable modules construction of input output circuits on the breadboard and interfacing the CPLD with a breadboard so here uh, the list of the module for vending machine in table and below you can see this is a block diagram of vending machine so we will uh, implement a vending machine simulation uh, like this right now i present to you uh, 3.2 modules from previous milestone firstly 3.2.1 adder the 4 bit equal carry adder from my stern one can be used directly without modification so we just can copy and paste it here because uh, the my stone 3 adder are actually same with the my stone 1 so this is our adder the 3.2.2 accumulator so for the accumulator here I already do um, the idea of data register from milestone 1 can be used in this module. The accumulator is used to load latest 4 bit binary number. Once the selector generates output, an accumulator based counter can be built by combining registers and adders. So our adders are here, our adders and not get and here are the, our uh, register so in this case uh, this is a D flip flop okay D flip flop and end gate and a not gate uh, used to be a one cell register with clear so this is for the um, one cell register so that's all uh, when we do a functional simulation uh, of waveform for the one cell register be clear so this is our waveform so as you can see uh, the registering D is equal to 1 here and then and then here is clear and then registering D equal to 1 clear registering D equal to 1 and so on so this is our simulation of waveform for the 4 cell accumulator we just put a 4 adder here so we connect it to the clear and clock pin and then here is the output Q and input pin uh, D for the simulation output waveform for the 4 cell adder uh, we will get like this so we have a input pin clock clear and D and output pin Q so we use a hex star symbol uh, value for the input D and output Q so this is for the 3.2.3 night rider light the night rider light for my stone 2 is modified by adding a control signal to enable or disable the light so that the LEDs run only when this input is high the status signal done is also added to indicate when the light has run a complete round so um, the counters the counters here the counter uh, count only when the enable is high then um, here we got a uh, output done 9 output done 9 uh, is high when the cycle reach 9 and then the output 
(uh) and then the output done output done to be inserted as an input to accumulator to reset so this is simulation output waveform for the (um) for the nak nak rider light so here when the enable is low the like LEDs do not run and when the enable is high the nak rider lights run okay and then here (uh) when the dan naik is high dan naik when the dan naik is high (uh) when the cycle reach naik okay and then lastly (uh) dan dan is high only when the transition returns to zero for the 3.2.4 prescaler we need to design our own self a LPM counter um, LPM counter and then we get this I do not use the very lock type I use the VHDL version type so our input is CLK and output is uh, uh, Q which is a uh, 26 bit and then here is our output Q35 and Q18 which is a uh, clock 1 and clock 2 for the prescaler um, for the uh, uh, input clock of CPLD uh, equal to 21 nanosecond and the bit 25 is used for the clock 1 where is uh, 0.671 second thus the rate for the clock one uh, 0.7452 hertz and B18 is used for clock two which is uh, 0.0052 second thus period for clock one, clock one uh, equal to uh, 96.15 hertz that's all for the 3.2 for 3.3.1 comparator this is the schematic diagram for comparator where it will has two input a and b and also one output g for this comparator when comparing a and b if a is greater than b then the output g will be one here is the schematic diagram and this is the compilation report for the waveform we can see that there's two input a and b and b is set to be 11 so when a is more than 11 12 until 15 the output g will become 1 this is for 3.3.2 binary to BCD converter first we will look at CADD3 here uh, you can see uh, the, it has one input and one output where B is the input and D is the output for output D it has D3 until D0 and each output has its own circuit here is the D0 circuit. This is the D1, D2, and D3. This is the compilation report. And here is the waveform editor. For this CADD, um, when the input is from uh, 1 until 5, it will not add anything but after that it will add 5 to the value this is the schematic diagram for binary to bcd converter this is the cad3 that have been made earlier and uh, this is the input d and the output d here and also a until g which will be connected 
to the seven segment display this is the uh, IC7447 uh, which convert the CD to seven segment this is the compilation report and this is the simulation waveform this is the input from 1 until F which is 16 in binary in decimal this is tens which is the output for the second display the tens place uh, we can see here from A until F in decimal it is 10 until 16 so the tens will be switched on it shows 1 at the 7 segment display from output A until G it will show the number at the 7 segment display according to the binary number this is for 3.3.3 .3 input filter this is the schematic diagram for input filter where it uses 2 d fit fork it has 2 input switch and clock and one output a pulse in here is the compilation of the input filter and this is the waveform for input filter it has a clock switch for input and pulse for output so next part is part 3.4 selected so as you can see we need to use the other component which is bus multiplexer that we can find on the symbol file and just search the bus map. so we enter the three symbol or three component of bus multiplexer and for the first one for the first port we need to ground it and for the second port we input the input c 0 and for the second bus multiplexer the first input is b 0 and the second input is rounded so it is because when the switch is didn't didn't press the the second added input is zero 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 which is came came from the grounded part of the post pass multiplexer and when the switch one is pressed the second either input is zero zero one zero come from the input of c three and zero and when the switch two is pressed the input of the second editor is one zero 0101 which come from the B in the first in the second bus multiplexer so for the first stage of bus multiplexer is connected into another bus multiplexer and to the output and for the bus multiplexer you need to set it the parameter into width with the value of 4 and just put the type with auto so for the last part you need to connect and assemble all the module or design all component that have been designed in the previous step of this milestone and also in the previous milestone so here we got the input filter selector ripple carry adder rca accumulator cooperator binary bcd seven segment and night rider so to connect it for the output of the input filter go to the selector and selector go to the port b of the ripple carry adder and go to the accumulator and for the C in for the RCA is grounded and for the port A for the RCA is connected to the port A of the comparator and the, for, and the part B and the port B for the comparator is connected to the constant which are set here is 11 in the binary so the comparator go to the night rider and the accumulator go to the binary VCD same segment and both go to the output so for the first part we just use the CLK1 and you need to make sure after the compilation there is no error so if there is no error and you test on the waveform and there is no error you can start to insert the prescaler so after the so after the compilation is there is no error you can start to insert the prescaler here and the CLK1 or put 2 into goes into the input filter and CLK1 go into the GCLK of the narrator so after that you can start to open the pin panel and set the pin into each of the input and also for the output of your design and then you can start to insert your design into the EPM or your CP, 
for you spending for the hardware simulation. 